Hi guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're all keeping well. Uh, now, um, I'm going to do a, a movie review actually uh, in this one because I want to talk about it. Oh, an awesome movie uh, that I watched uh, last night and, and was among uh, the, the hall I got for Christmas. Uh, it's from 1982. Uh, and oh, yeah, it's very much along the lines of the Charles Bronson uh, Death Wish movie. It's thoroughly enjoyable from start to finish. And that is a movie called Vigilante. Uh, yeah, so as I say, yeah, really enjoyed this movie, and this is a great release by uh, AT Films. Got the reversible slip, you know, slip, uh, you know, the uh, the reversible artwork as well, and the slip cover. Yeah, so uh, if you're not familiar with Vigilante, uh, I'll read you the uh, the blurb at the back uh, just to give you an idea of the story, and I'll talk a little bit more about it and give me thoughts on the movie as a whole. Yeah, okay. So today, the American dream is to live on a safe street. Now, when factory worker Eddie's wife is attacked, attacked and his young son is killed by a violent criminal street gang, he turns to the legal channels in the hope that justice will be served. However, he soon learns that the system is corrupt and to get the revenge he seeks, he must join an underground vigilante group. Brought to us by maniac director William Lustig and starring Fred Williamson and Robert Forster, Vigilante packs a powerful punch. It certainly does. This is one of the best Vigilante movies I've ever seen. You know, a absolute classic. And I really enjoyed this from start to finish. You know, a really, really brutal scenes. You know, a really gives you an insight on, on how bad crime was, you know, in, in, in the 80s and in, in America and that. Uh, and it, these street gangs and that, you know, they were just, uh, oh, they were just horrible, merciless, cold-blooded cold-blooded creatures they had no concern at all you know if they wanted to hurt somebody very much in in the style of the criminals and the death wish movies and that and it, oh great cast solid cast particularly this guy here who plays the main um well he's the leader of this uh, gang of uh, vigilantes and that you know and the guy that has his wife his wife attacked and that and his son's killed shot in cold blood in the house and that and it, oh yeah oh it's it, action from start to finish there's not what there's not one single boring moment in this movie guys and there's not many movies you can say that you know um, especially the day especially can't even talk i haven't even had a drink yet especially uh, you know the modern movies like you know uh, and especially the ones getting made these days and that but this if you haven't seen it i highly recommend that you get yourself a copy of this vigilante it's a fantastic watch you know and i was completely hooked and gripped from start to finish solid storyline great cinematography show you the streets of new york and that and uh, you know you can't help but think about charles bronson in the death wish movies when you watch these these all these uh, despicable thugs the way they attack innocent people, you know, and they've got no compunction, no compunction whatsoever about bursting into somebody's house, raping the, raping the women, beating, beating people up and that, and even shooting kids, you know, the most heinous crime of all, you know, and, oh, you really feel for this guy, like, who, his wife, you know, he, he goes to prison, actually, um, because he sort of like he gets angry in court when one of the criminals is let off and that you know with just a, a suspended sentence oh yeah this as it says at the back this really packs a powerful punch guys this vigilante and uh i must say carol lindley although she's not in it for, for very long she's fantastic in the role of the lawyer who sort of like takes the guy's case and that you know and uh, oh yeah absolutely solid performances by this cast you know and um i've got um What's the name here, guys? I'll just show you the poster. It's a double-sided poster, actually. So there you go. And then we've got the other one. Sorry, the other one as well there, guys. Yeah, that's to say, if you love your vigilante movies and that, you know, and really grissy, and this is grissy. It really is, let me assure you. I think you'll enjoy uh, vigilante. Yeah, um, oh, yeah, fantastic. I think I'll be watching this again. Very, very soon, you know, with the commentary, you know, um, yeah, uh, written by Richard v Vessere and um, produced by William Lustig and Andrew G G Garoni. Yeah, it actually stars the guy, guy out of Maniac here as well. You know, the guy that played the main um, the main killer in Maniac, he's actually in this as well. Yeah, um, you don't really see him all that much in that, you know, but um, oh yeah, yeah, thoroughly enjoyable movie in that, you know, if you love your gritty, if you love your gritty crime dramas and that, you know, from the 70s and 80s. Get yourself a cop. Get yourself a copy of this vigilante. You know, I I, I can sit here all all day spouting superlatives about how great, how enjoyable, how gripping this movie is. You know, and as I say, um, it's one of the best, if not the best, vigilante aside from the Charles Bronson Death Wish movies. Best vigilante movie I've watched. You know, and I'll definitely be keeping it in my collection. Yeah, great say presentation as well by AC Films and that. You know, and uh, packed with their uh, special features and that. You know. 
So um, there you go, yeah. So oh yeah, really, as a real brutal scenes in this guy. So really, is you know, it does. As I say, you know, it's it's really in your face movie vigilante, and um, you know, I'm really pleased with it and that you know, especially when it gripped me right from from start to finish, you know, and uh, you know, great solid performances by this cast of characters, you know, and uh, yeah, um. Great chase scenes as well, real brutal and that. They don't show any mercy, these gang of vigilantes, when they corner the criminal. Oh, yeah, the punches are flying like anything and that, you know. The knees are going in, the feet are going in. Oh, yeah, real brutal. And, you, and of course, like, you hate the criminals, that that highness, that despicable, you know, you really cheer on the vigilantes and that when they administer their own special form of justice in this fantastic, gripping thriller Vigilante, yeah. All right then, guys, yeah. Have, have you seen Vigilante? Let me know in your comments down below. Do you rate it as highly as I do? Yeah, but if you haven't seen it, guys, I must say once again, get yourself a copy of this right now because if you love Charles Bronson movies or gritty crime dramas, you will love this, believe me. Yeah, if you don't like this movie, eh, there must be something wrong with you. You know, um, definitely, yeah. All right then, guys, so I'm going to give this a rating. Oh, well, of course, you know what I'm going to give it, don't you? 10 out of 10. The Vigilante, an absolute classic of American crime, you know, the American crime uh, film genre, uh, and a very high, highly rewatchable movie as well. And uh, oh, there's one or two, there's, well, there's one particularly brutal, uh, brutal uh, prison scene as well, you know. Um, oh, yeah, I won't go on too much about that, but oh, by my word, it is, it, it is pretty brutal and that, you know, and real horrible, horrible, detestable characters in the prison as well and that, yeah, but, oh yeah, so many great scenes in this, as I say, um, the way they call all the criminals and that, you know, they don't show any mercy and that, you know, and it, <coughs> so, it, and it's sort of like, it touches on the, on the, on the, on the legal system as well, how ineffective, how ineffective it is in this movie and that, you know, and it's a lot of, uh, corrupt officials and that, you know, uh, you know, getting paid, like, bribed and that, you know, so it broaches that subject as well, all that's thrown in into what is a highly enjoyable mix of grissy crime drama. Yeah. All right then, guys. So that concludes my review of a uh, vigilante from 1982. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and as I say, you know, if you love movies like Charles Bronson's Death Wish, get yourself a copy of this. Yeah, I'm sure you will enjoy it. Yeah, as much as I did. Yeah. All right then, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review uh, of a uh, vigilante from 1982. Uh, and uh, usual, if you like the video, please feel free to share, subscribe, comment, and uh, all going well. I'll be back again very, very soon with another video. Take care. Bye for now.